Boys, it's time. Zhang Li gets his adjustments. This is the first time I'm taking a look at this. Uh, I've literally woke up like a couple minutes ago and uh, I just saw that Genshin posted adjustments regarding Zhang Li. I didn't read it myself. We're gonna look at this together. We're gonna find out uh, how this is gonna look. Right, current adjustments are not final. This is what could possibly come. Regarding Zhang Li as a character, adjustments to passive talent, dominance of earth, Original effect increases planet befall damage by an amount equal to 33% of Zhongli's max HP. It's going to be changed to the damage dealt by the following of Zhongli's attack will be increased based on the max HP. Normal attack, charge attack, plunge attack will increase by 1.39% of his max HP. So, that means planet befall is no longer going to do that extra 33% increased damage based on his max HP. Uh, your normal attack is going to be increased after it. DPS Zhongli, Bola Zhongli, you know. Might be might be something to build again. If we look at the damage increase, this is super fat. Like this dude is hitting 600s, 900s, 400s. This dude's only hitting 150, 200, 300. Pretty much double, almost triple the damage. This is a post adjustment. This is before. Hey, DPS Zhang Li. Hey, this might be this might be a resurrection for him. <laughs> for the next one, the Stone Steel Resonance and Holding Mode damage of Dominus Lapidus will be increased by 1.9% of his max, max HP. It does a bit more damage. 900, 600, this one does 400, 200 damage, so DPS Zhongli, man, and I think if you were to build DPS Zhongli, you might have to build HP or attack, one of the two, uh, maybe HP as a main stat or an attack as a sub stat, or attack as a main stat and HP as a sub stat, one of the two, he still bases off max HP, so his shield, his normal attack, and his rock, so uh, something to, to put into consideration as to how you're going to build him. Ooh, and on top of that, Planet of Fall damage will be increased by 33% of Zhongli's max HP. So, that's not even going to be a talent anymore, that's just going to be implemented into his kit. So, man, the damage boost on Zhongli is looking pretty good, pretty good, guys. Adjustments to Dominus Lapidus holding mode. Original effect causes nearby Geo energy to explode, causing the following effects. Post effect causes nearby Geo energy to explode, causing the following effects. If the maximum number of stone seals has not been reached, it will create a stone seal. Yo, wait a minute, that changes a good amount too. Okay, so you know whenever you're in a fight and you play Zhang Li, you know, you kind of want to pop the shield before you pop the pillar or you pop the pillar before the shield. Man, all you got to do is pop the shield and everything and the pillar just spawns. It's like, you only got to do it once. That, that I think this is really convenient when you're fighting. When I play Zhang Li, I usually have to pop the pillar and then the shield. Sometimes I forget to pop the pillar because, you know, I kind of just want to have the shield up and switch to my main DPS. But man, this is just going to make it a lot easier, a lot more convenient. This is more like a quality of life thing with the pillar, placing that after the shield. Oh man, guys, I'm so excited for the new Zhang Li buffs. I know it's not final and all, but it's looking really promising. Next, create a shield of Jade. The shield damage absorption scales based on max HP and has 150% physical damage and elemental damage absorption. Okay, that's pretty good. Deals AoE damage if there are nearby targets with Geo Element and generates a large amount of Geo Element from maximum two targets. Does not cause damage. Okay. Alright, so after the adjustment, it looks like he does not stagger when you take physical damage, uh, when you're putting up the shield. Another quality of life thing when you're playing Zhang Li. Alright, alright, Geo Element Mechanics Enduring Rock. This is the elemental resonance when you have two Geos on your team. Increased resistance to interruptions and protected by shield. Increased attack damage by 15%. Post adjustment, increased shield strength by 15%. Additionally, characters protected by shield will have the following special Characteristics damage dealt increased by 15, damage dealt to enemies will decrease their geo resistance by 20% for 15 seconds. Alright, see, look at this is what I'm saying, you know, my last video, my last couple videos were talking about how geo can only be a support. These geo buffs are really gonna make them slap me in the face and say, hey man, geo can do some damage, geo, geos are not supports. I mean, they are, but like... These buffs are nice, like these buffs, to all those Geo lovers, I know I had somebody in the comments who said they really like the Geo element, you're gonna love this for Zhang Li, you're gonna love this for, man, pretty much, I don't know, any any Geo character because the elemental resonance. As for the Geo shield balance adjustments, Geo shields are adjusted from having 250% Geo damage absorption to have 150 physical damage absorption and elemental damage absorption. So I'm assuming that's all the elements. Um, the Geo shield created by Zhang Li's elemental skill, Noel's and Geo Shield when picking up crystals dropped by Geo Bishop Hatchlings. I think those are the Sonic guys. 
This round of adjustments are not merely intended to improve the experience of playing Zhang Li alone, we also hope to better convey the Shield of Geo playstyles that are more closely associated with him, not only for his sake but to improve the experience of travelers who have been delving into the strategy layer of the game. It's precisely because these changes go further than pure adjustments to a character alone that we have taken the utmost care we have been able to give travelers more detailed solution and oppose to hastily throw in our general direction adjustment. Guys, everything's in the description if you want to look. This is a really, really nice buffs. Again, these are not final, but if these were to be final, this this is gonna make make things look a lot nicer. In conclusion, dude, Sean Lee a lot of his things are getting buffed based on his max HP. His normal attack is going to get buffed. His shield just places the pillar without even having to do it twice. So when you put the shield up, the pillar goes up if it's not already up. The pillar by itself does increase damage based on your max HP. Guys, building John Lee is pretty much going to be the same thing. Kind of building max HP. I, I, I kind of see it as a semi-support, semi-DPS. Who knows, I'm pretty excited to see those YouTubers who have those really high level max characters and I want to see the max DPS they can do. But with that being said, things are looking promising for Geo characters, things are looking promising for Zhang Li. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy, I'll see you guys in the next video. 1.2 baby, Albedo coming soon. Peace.